guys, so today is now Monday, January 30th, and we went to go to Edwam Community College. I think it was January 27th, Friday, last Friday. And we had a very, very nice time. The campus was very, very big. It was way bigger than what I could have imagined. And it was just like, they have so much things that you guys can do. There's so much things, you know, they had different, um, different buildings, you know, for, you know, obviously, you know, like the academic building, the science building, you know, the uh, theater itself building, they had a lot of those, they had like different ones of those. And it's very, overall, it was just a good Okay, thing. and also before I get into the stuff, I have a little problem going on with my teeth right now. So if I'm stumbling or sounding like I'm mumbling my words, that's why. Yeah, I'm wondering why I'm going to be talking like, talking like that throughout the rest of the video. Um, it's just a thing that I have because I, I have stuttering issues. I, I used to have really bad stuttering issues. Like I used to stutter so much when I was a little kid, but as I got older, I kind of grew out of it. But like I said in previous, like I literally have something going on with my mouth right now, like my back teeth, and it's really bringing out the stuttering again. So if you guys hear me, you know, re saying sentences or stuttering over the words, and they're like having problem with, with talking right now, it's just because whatever's going on right here is affecting my stuttering and it's coming back out again. Sorry guys, this is the video. So yeah, we went on tour with Miss Emma Grace. She was very, very informative. She gave us so much information on the college overall, the history of the college. She told us a lot about the dorms. She told us a lot about the different buildings, about uh, the, how the old football stadium used to be and the old football field used to be and stuff like that. It was just like, she knew a lot about it. It wasn't like one of those people that were just like, yeah, do this, do that, do that. She gave us information on like all the different clubs I could join and how, and how easy, you know, campus life is. Well, she probably might have still said a little bit of that stuff just so I can go to the college, but still, like, she made it fun. Like, she turned us around. She was driving her little golf course with the Itawamba logo on Yeah, it. they have, they have um, kind of like an America's Got Talent thing, but it's called Indies Got Talent. I guess it's what they call the uh, people at Itawamba Community College. Um, yeah, yeah, they do stuff like that. They have, and then they have The Voice. They have, like, their version of The Voice, and... It looked like they said they had, we didn't get to see it because we couldn't go in the building, but they said that they had like the actual spinning chairs and stuff like that, so I'll definitely be going into that when I go. You know, that's how fun. They said they do all the fun stuff on Fridays because, you know, they said they do not allow classes on Friday. They do not have classes on any Friday, which is a plus. So, like, if I'm ever feeling homesick, I could actually go home Thursday night or come home Friday night because it's only like an hour and a half away from my current home so you know I just go I just come back home spend the weekend and then come be back for school Monday and then also it's not far from Tupelo Tupelo Mississippi is like a big shopping area where people go and have a fun time and they go shop and do different things I just recently made a video about that so go check it out and Yes, it's like 25 minutes, roughly 25 minutes away from there. And uh, I could just go there and do fun stuff there while I'm, you know, after school or, you know, during the weekends. I can meet my family. Because my family, we like to go shopping too a lot. So I can meet them up. I can meet up with them on the weekend sometimes in Tupelo. And you know, they'll probably bring me back here. And yes, guys, they have such a big gymnasium for basketball. Like, like the basketball games and stuff like that. It's so big, it's so big. It's almost like an actual, like, real stadium. I, like, I know it's like a college. And then, there, and then she was telling me how the guy that's over the school, how he's very um, interactive with the students and stuff. He said that she said that she drive that he drives over the campus, all over the campus, with his golf with his golf cart. And if the students are late, he'll pick them up. So that he even eats lunch in the cafeteria with the students. He comes to every sporting event game and stuff like that. So that's a big, big plus because, you know, sometimes, you know, the head board people, they'll just stay in the office. They won't do nothing but inflict discipline and stuff like that. So it's, it's good to know that I have somebody, you know, that's that'll be interactive, you know. And when I first got there, it's, it's the craziest thing because when I first got there, my old school, Columbus High, they were there on a field trip. And I was like, how ironic, how ironic is that, that, they, that they'd be here when I come here. But... You know, it was no, you know, no hard, hard feelings or whatever, because 
I went up there and then I was talking to the lady before we got introduced to the tour guide. She was telling me about the school. She was giving me information. She was like, it's a very culturally diverse school and that's a good thing because, you know, you don't want to go that's to a school or a college, in fact, that's, you know, predominantly one race. You know, you like to, I like to be, you know, you know, have, you know, every different culture because, you know, I'm not really the type of person where I like to stick with something or stick with certain types of people, you know. If you hear something slamming, that's my brother Trevor in the background. He's trying, he's attempting to cook some food for for himself, I guess. I don't know. Who's and so the lady she was telling me, I think her name was Madison. She was telling me about how how her experience was coming here initially and how she came and she didn't really, you know, have much friends, but she, over time, you know, she accumulated, you know, different types of friends, you know. And she was telling me about the different resident halls we could stay in and stuff like that she was some and then i asked her what um what dormitory or resident hall that she had stayed in and what she recommended and she was telling me about all the different ones and how she had to get used to living in one way and then she got moved and then she moved to another different hall during the um during her second year there it's a two year it's a two-year community college guys in case you guys didn't know yes it's a two-year community college and I really had fun. They gave me a shirt. It says Itawamba with their logo for the Indies. And it was just very fun. So I'm gonna, now I'm gonna hand it over to my family videos because they they actually recorded and I really didn't get to record much because I was talking to Miss Emma Grace who was very lovely. She was very nice, she was very friendly. I was talking to Miss Emma Grace so I didn't get to really record much. So now what you're about to see will be my my mother's video that she recorded for me. So I can put into this video. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, we guys are gonna walk into the student services building of Itawamba Community College. She sat in the very back, and one day she dropped her pencil, and it literally rolled all the way down to the floor. <laughs> and the teacher made her come and pick it up. She was like, "That was so embarrassing." No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so she had some more glasses on, but um, filtration flask and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I had no idea what that was when I got here. I was like, "What's in here?" We're speaking a different language. So, um, one of the best things. That You ain't sharing the bathroom with the next roommate, so. Right, yes. So, in all of our female rooms, yeah, they should come touch that thing. They open if you pull one up. <laughs> um, all of the brown furniture comes with the room. Um, all of the bathrooms are very nice. Um, all of the bathrooms are very nice. Um, all the bathrooms are very nice. Um, all of 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 the bathrooms are very nice.
Can you open one? Yeah, let's try that one over there, boy. <laughs> there you go, that one open. There we go. <laughs> loaded teas and tacos last year mm. um all kinds of stuff and then my favorite thing that we do out here is during finals week to relieve some stress they bring the puppies from the humane society oh and we all sit in the grass and pet puppies oh, oh, nice. so um just super fun things that you wouldn't even think about in college so you would just have to do for out there in the little um, common area and you just literally stand for these cards and that's all you have to do so um, super good opportunities Hi, how are you? Hi. 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 Professional at the big place. <laughs> so we have our oh, goodness. Here. This is nice. We have a fantastic section that comes and supports our basketball and volleyball team. Mm -hmm. We have theme nights where we'll dress up. So the other night it was Hawaiian night. We all came in our grass skirts. No. Um, nice. 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 Oh wow! Oh, oh my God! Ooh, this is a big one. Yeah. So we have a big basketball game. guys in case you guys didn't believe me they did in fact give me a Eta Wamba Indies t-shirt and they also gave me a couple of other things that I'll finish show you guys right now because I literally forgot to say say that in the whole so yeah, guys, video. Like a little cute um this is so cute this is like a little tote bag with the Eta Wamba Community College logo and the name of the college on there it's so cute and they gave me a lot of goodies on the okay inside. guys so they gave me this red cup with the Eta Wamba 
Look, well, same as the bag. It's so cute. And then they gave me some little goodies on the inside. And I'm going to show you guys everything. Okay, so they gave me this little sticker like I put on like my laptop or a phone case or something. They gave me this so I could hook onto my keychain. I don't have a car, but I do have a house key. <laughs> that I literally put everything on my keychain. And then they also, hold on, guys. They gave me this ink pen. They don't want community college ink pen. I don't know. This is just so cute. And here we have the little school pamphlet. This just gives me information on how to apply and give me a little bit more information about the school. And then, of course, this is the actual overview of the campus. We've seen most of this. Like I said, as you guys can see, there's like a lot of places on here. All right, guys, and that's it for today's YouTube video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and just share this video on social media platforms. Everybody, see.